Alright, uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give her all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. And I would like to give our uh, double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And uh, much blessing to you, brothers, out there, laboring in truth and sincerity. Okay. Um, now, basically, now, uh, this is going to be a quick lesson or a quick video on. Uh, on the reality of the of the so-called uh, chariots um the reality of uh what you call uh the ufos man because now because now we're starting to see them a lot more and a lot more and a lot more now okay it's, it seems as if every single time brothers are out there in the highways and the bowers um they are uh, the chariots are going by okay it seems every time now brothers are in the highways and the brothers are on their daily lives at their workplaces uh brothers are looking up in the sky and they can see a chariot man i myself like uh, i was working and um i had an uh, uh i was i was driving uh this one edomite woman she could be an edomite woman she could be an israelite woman i don't know but um uh, i was working and uh because I, I told the story to the brothers and I was meditating on um, the account on uh, King David uh, on the, ac the account where King David actually came and where King David got saved um, by a so-called uh, UFO where the Lord sent his angels to come and save him from the chariots man okay you can read about he wrote about it in the book of Psalms as well I'm not gonna go into it uh, let me just get you the Psalms you know just so uh you can uh you can read because you can get in the book of samuel you can get the actual account you can get the actual account of it but uh king david wrote a psalm about it okay it's uh it's uh psalms the 18th chapter read the whole psalms in the 18th chapter and uh it's pretty long as well okay because uh, King David he wrote a psalm about how uh, the chariots of the Lord came and uh, pretty much they started shooting out laser beams at the, I believe it was the Philistines uh, but one of them hermetic uh, uh, tribes when, when, they, uh, when they found King David pretty much he was surrounded and um, but the Lord delivered it, the Lord delivered him from it from, it, from death man okay at that point now he pretty much was looking around he's thinking oh damn man I, I'm gone man Okay, they're gonna kill me now. But the Lord literally sent his chariots and destroyed all those armies that were after King David and uh and picked him up and literally physically delivered him out of that situation, man. Okay, and went and, and left him somewhere else. Okay. So pretty much I was thinking about that uh that particular psalm, and I was thinking about uh one of the many ways in which the Heavenly Father man is gonna deliver us out of this tribulation uh that's coming, man, in this Jacob's trouble. Police lights. So like at some point, some police lights. So I but yeah, I was thinking about it among the many ways in which the heavenly Father is gonna deliver us out of uh, uh the trouble that's coming, man. Out of the grip of Esau. Cause remember, man, at the final hour of Esau's downfall, man, they're gonna get desperate. Okay, the, there's no, there's not gonna be no more human rights. There's not gonna be a uh, call my lawyer. There won't be none of that, man. They're just gonna simply start uh, grabbing our people, uh, executing you on the on the spot. Okay, that's what martial law is all about, man. Okay, when in the time of martial law, all all your rights are taken away. Okay, all your rights. There's no longer no more rights. Uh, there's no mercy. Uh, uh, you know the the the, the police are uh, are militarized. Okay, they kind of all kinds of weaponry. They have, they'll beat you up. They'll beat you to death if they have to. Man, and you know, right now, Jack, when all those things are happening, man, Jack pulls out their phones and start recording, man. But a time is coming man, when there won't be none of that stuff, man. Okay, where everybody is simply just running for their lives. All right. So among those things, I was thinking about uh, uh, this King David situation, and while I was meditating on that, while I was driving. Uh, I just saw a blue light right in the sky. Okay, it went it was right in front of me. It went to the other side, and I was I was looking at it. I was thinking to myself, is that a helicopter? And then it came to the side of my vehicle, 
And then I looked over and I said to the woman, what is that? Because I wanted her to confirm to see maybe it was a helicopter or uh, something else. Man. Already in my mind, I, I had I had the thought that it was a chariot. But I was just going you know, to get a second opinion from her. And she's looking, she's like, I don't know what, it, what that is. Okay, the blue light and white lights uh, on the side of it. And then uh, while we was, was sitting, I figured out what it was. I opened the window to try and see if I can hear any sound. And then it came back and then it was right above my vehicle. And I said to her, do you know, do you know what that is? <clears throat> and I said to her, that's a UFO. And then she's looking over and then she said to me, goes, it could be a UFO. And I said, yeah, that's a UFO. And then like I looked over and then I slowed the vehicle down and I looked over and I could see that it was a chariot. I mean, if we just basically from uh, I did have doubts at the moment, it could be that it might be a, a helicopter, but it's just the way it was moving. It was, it was it, it, the movement were too swift for it to be a helicopter, man. So I was convinced at that time that that was a chariot. Okay. Um, so the reality, the reality of the chariot, the reality of the chariot uh, visiting the earth right now is, uh, is, is you know, it's, it's soon, it's going to be, it's no longer going to be uh, a, uh, a thing of uh, is it or is it not. Okay, very soon it's now going to be there they are. They are right here. Okay, let me start off with our Psalm 68. Very soon it's now, it's now going to be like they are here now. You're looking up in the sky and there they are. Okay, no doubts, uh, no debate. It's, simp it's simply going to be the, they are here and what next, man? Because uh, nobody, at least the people, the elites understand that those are the angels of the Lord. But the people do not really understand yet uh, if they so called UFOs, what, what are they? Or what do they want? Do they want peace? Because they get told that uh, it's uh, little blue people from a different planet. That is a is a is a is a higher intelligent being from another planet, so they could either come to destroy us or they could come uh to uh, give us their technology, you know all that BS that they always put in their movies, okay? But the reality is, those are the angels of the heaven Father in those so-called uh, UFOs, man. All right, this is Psalm sixty-eight, and I'll start from uh, uh Psalm sixty-eight and four says, "Sing unto the Most High, sing praises to His name." Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name Yahweh. I mean, and how does he ride upon the heavens through those uh, so called UFOs? Okay, it says, and rejoice before him. Okay, and I'll jump down to the uh, the 17th verse, and it says, The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai. In the holy place, man. So those so-called UFOs, man, is angels in them, and there's thousands and thousands of them, man. Okay, because when they come, Esau and uh, the other nations, the first thing they're gonna do, man, is try and uh, uh, to war against them, man. Because they're gonna understand that when those so-called UFOs, when they when they make a proper appearance, because right now the appearance that they're making, man, is not a proper appearance. They're just playing games with show, man. They 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 make they're visible to us. They might be visible on your on your on your radars, okay? You can you know the, because every now and again there's uh, the UFOs are in the in the the chariots are in the sky. Uh, after a few minutes, when you see a, a helicopter uh, from the airport, when it goes up and goes in and investigate, man, okay? And I read somewhere where they said uh, where a guy made a, a statement. He said if they uh, he said. Because pretty much now, because it's now we're getting to a point where it's almost undeniable. But they're saying it looks as if the UFOs are there, but they're simply just minding their business and just watching over us. Okay. But the reason that being is because it's simply not the time yet, man. Okay. It's not the time yet for them to come and do what they have to come and do. Okay. Because the Lord has a time, a time and uh, a season for all things, man. Right now, you know, right now the Lord is still letting things happen because you, you know, certain prophecies still have to be fulfilled. Uh, the mark of the beast still has to be fulfilled. Okay. Um, but eventually it's coming, man. Eventually those chariots are coming. Those UFOs, they are coming. Okay. 
if you didn't know if you didn't know what they are you know now man okay and the so does the elites of this uh, of this society they understand okay they're preparing to war against them okay they get you know they're weapon they're trying to figure out you know uh strategies and uh you know uh how they can fight a bean that's from you know that they have no idea because because they, they always speak about area 51 and how they shot down the chariot but the reality is man they, they, you didn't, you can shoot down the chariot those things are spiritual man okay your weapons can go right through them man all right your weapons can go right through them and you can fire a missile at them and you, can, you, you won't even move it will go right through okay why those things are, are spiritual man okay the chain sizes okay they can they can move within seconds man you know in different uh in from one place to another within within a flash man okay which you don't have any vehicles that are like that but still man because so you still have to do you have you still have to have to have uh your final battle the lord has prepared you to have the final battle with the angels man world war three plus the fight uh with the with the lord when he comes back okay uh zechariah 5 and 1 said then i turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked and behold a flying roar and he said unto me was the was seest thou and he answered i see a flying roar the length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits when you're seeing a chariot man <coughs> Salakia. He was seeing a chariot and he gave the measurements of the chariot that he but he said he's seen at that particular time, man. And he says, verse 3 said, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. So it's a curse, man. That's gonna come on that's gonna come on the planet F Y because it's gonna bring destruction. It's gonna bring all you that's what that's what the Lord has been preparing you for so that he can bring your rulership violently, man. Okay, you're you're getting proud and exalted man above you're getting proud and your your technology is growing so fast, man, that you actually think you, you can mount up, you can challenge the heavenly father to a fight, but he's gonna destroy you, man. That's why it's a curse, man. It's a blessing to the to the elect of Israel because that's gonna be our way, uh, our our salvation out of here. Okay, that's how the Lord's gonna deliver us out of here. And it says, For everyone that still left shall be cut off on this side, according to it, and everyone that swerve swear swerve shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And who's the thief, man? Who steals? And it says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. It's gonna enter into the house of who's the house of the thief? Uh Esau and so-called white people today. Okay, let's start with America, man. You stole that land. That wasn't your land. Okay. You you literally aimed to slaughter the people of that land, man. There are the Native Americans who are a uh, a part of the uh the uh the Israelites, okay? The apple of the Lord's eye, God's chosen people, man. Okay. And it says, uh, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, because they come in the name of, uh, uh, in God we trust, in Christianity, okay, in the Bible, okay. And it says, and it shall, rem and it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof, man, because it's going to destroy everything, man. Okay, so the, the fire is going to come from the, from the so-called UFOs. force. And from those nuclear missiles, man. Okay, so the Lord is coming to destroy everything when it comes back. Okay, He's coming to destroy all that land, man. So those things, man, do. That's why it's a curse, man. They're coming to bring nothing but destruction. But right now, the reason they're minding their own business because it's simply just not the time yet. Okay, because it's simply just not the time for them yet. Okay, let me get our Revelation twelve. Uh, Revelation 12 and 7 and it says and there was war in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels man that's what it really means but if you right now if you go on Google and type in war in heaven you're gonna find some uh, some illustrations of angels fighting against so-called so Satan and with their souls and all that you know some angels dying and 
Satan's angels dying. That's not what that means, man. The dragon, the angels that the Lord's gonna be fighting is your armies, man. Okay, it's your armies, your military that the Lord's gonna be fighting with, man. Okay, because the Lord is coming with His military, which is uh, 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 uh the angels in those so-called UFOs or chariots, against your military with whatever technology that you're gonna have available to fight against Him. Okay, and it says, "I prevailed not, neither was there a place found." anymore in heaven man so your rulership is going to be completely taken away from you man okay uh and it says and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which de deceiveth the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him and who's the who's the who's that man that's talking about esau man okay he's the esau he's the one that was given power to deceive the whole world Okay, he's the same old serpent there that deceived Eve in the uh, in the garden, man. Okay, so the Lord after after that when the when those when the Lord comes back, that will be it for Esau, man. Okay, this is why the Lord in Lamentations he tells you to rejoice because your destruction is coming simply. Okay, after this, man, you 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 do you know you're never gonna have a share as the Edomites on the planet Earth. You're not gonna have land. Okay, you're never gonna be allowed to have a, anything on the earth, man. Now this is it, man. This part, this, this right here, this rulership that you have. That's why, it, that's why they have to fight. Okay, because if you see the power that the heavenly Father is coming with, it's, it, it will be wise just to simply put down your arms and surrender. But you have to fight because you know, because you know that the, after after this, man, there was, there's nothing else for you, man. It's nothing but slavery. Okay. It's nothing destruction every your everything that you built is gonna be destroyed and slavery afterwards beginning with your elite okay this is why you have to fight now you have to try if there's a 0 0.0100001 percent chance you have to try man okay this is uh lamentations 4 and uh and 21 says rejoice and be glad O daughter of edom that dwelleth in the lands of in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and shall make that and shall make thyself naked. And the cup is what we went through. What we went through as a people, man, slavery, oppression, all those things, man, hard cost, back all those things, man, backbreaking and all that stuff, man. You're gonna go through all those things, man. Okay, you're gonna go absolutely gonna go through all those things. And this is why it says rejoice now, man. Because now, now turn up now, man. Have, have your little uh, final, final dinners. You know, like uh, when somebody's on death row, they give you your final, your final meal. Have your final meal right now, man. Okay, because not everything that's coming is not gonna be good for you, man. Verse twenty-two, and it says the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, which is us. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. We won't go into slavery anymore. Okay, and it says that uh, he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins, man. So it's now it's going to be your turn now. Okay, but the elites understand this. Okay, the elites understand this. Um, uh, back to Revelation 12 and uh. And ten, and it says, and I heard a loud voice say, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our power, and the power of His anointed, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, who is the, the accuser of His brethren, our brethren, Esau, man, okay, uh, which accused them before our power day and night, man, because Esau wants to get us, wants to do our with us, man. Okay, so they're gonna give uh, the heavenly Father a reason why the heavenly Father man should completely do away with us. But the Lord said, man, th there's nothing that we can do that the Lord cannot uh, forgive us for, man. Okay, because if you go to Jeremiah 31, the Lord said, did say, uh, uh, if you can measure the heavens and the sea and the earth and all that kind of stuff, then He will, he, then we will cease from being a people before Him. But those things are impossible to do, man. Okay, so we are always going to be a people before the Heavenly Father. All right. Verse 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and, the, and the, by the word of our testimony. This truth that we have now. 
Okay, so we're overcoming you by this truth, man. Okay, and they love not their lives unto death, man. So you know, you gotta forget about this world, man. All right, because this world, man, this life right now, man, the Lord is coming to destroy it, man. So you gotta, you gotta put your mindset on the kingdom only. Verse 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And so they understand that they only have a short time now, man. So that's why Esau is gonna get desperate now. They're gonna try and move a lot, they're gonna try and move things a lot quicker. And when they're doing that, the Heavenly Father is gonna move his pieces as well. He's going to move his things a lot quicker. Okay? The fact that now they can see the UFOs now or the chariots. Let me say chariots. They can see the chariots now uh, uh, showing up in the in the atmosphere a lot more and a lot more and a lot more now. Okay? They understand that that time is coming to an end. Because they don't have a minute past the time that the Lord has given them. Okay? They don't have an hour, a day. They cannot extend it. Okay? On that very same time that the Lord has cut you off. Uh, for uh, to uh, uh, you, that's a, that the, the time limit that the Lord has gave you to rule. Okay, you're not gonna go past a minute past that, man. Okay, that's it. Okay, so you know, desperate measures now. You can you gotta act uh, desperately now. You know that your time is near. Okay, um, let me see if I go any more. Mm. Okay, yeah, pretty much, man. You know, there's a lot of precepts that you can go on the chariots. Okay, I just uh just had uh, to add my two cents to it, and uh, pretty much this is it, man. Okay, what did the Lord say, man? In Luke twenty one, let me get that. Okay. Um, Luke twenty one, and I read from twenty seven, and it says, "And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory." What's that cloud? That so called UFO. Okay, just like in that movie Independence Day, where people are looking up and then this massive object just enters the atmosphere. Okay, people start panicking and running away, and then eventually, what did they start doing? They start destroying now, man. Okay, and if you notice, all these movies that they, they always make, they're always UFO movies, they always base them around America. Why? Because America is going to be primarily, primarily the number one target for the chariots, man, the house of the thief. Uh, verse 28 and said when you and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh so when we see when you start to see these things looking up in the sky every now and again i'm always looking up in the sky now man okay i'm always hoping to see a chariot okay you know you know it gives me it gives me confidence man it adds to my faith okay i feel good when i see them man oh they you know there goes the chariot there man you know the angels are watching man Okay, so the Lord said, when you start to see these things, and we're seeing them now a lot more. Check the brothers' videos on the camps, man. Every now and again, man, you see brothers saying, they're looking up in the sky, they can see chariots. Uh, two weeks ago, the apostles, after they got harassed by Vokab Malon and uh, G-Man, what happened, man? About chariots just appeared in the sky, man. That was for them. Okay, that was a sign for them, man, from the, from the Lord, man. Okay. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it on that, man, and I hope that was edifying. And until next time, I'll say shalom.